Wing 726, welcome back to BT. Thanks for starting your day with us. Well, over at 17 Wing, members of the Canadian Forces are prepared for a call to action at any time. So each year, all personnel must successfully pass a standardized fitness evaluation. A new test has been developed called the Force Fitness Test. Sounds scary. Mm -hmm. And has been adopted for the first time at 17 Wing. This test features challenges based on the six most common military tasks. They're physically grueling, and Drew and I decided to try them out. Let's take a look. May 26, mark this date on your calendar because it's your chance to partake in the Royal Canadian Air Force Family Fun Run, a great way to run with members of the armed forces and check out 17 Wing Base. That's right, we're inside of the gymnasium right now, gearing up with the military personnel for their force fitness test. It happens once a year, and we're going to see how we do. So James, walk us through what this force test is. Okay, right now it's based off of six common tasks, which is our bonafide fitness occupational requirements. These four tests are based off of those common tasks. Go. So we have the sandbag lift, One. which you have to do in three minutes and 30 seconds Two. or less. We have the intermittent loaded unloaded shuttle, which is 400 meters in total. So you're doing five lengths of each, which five is loaded with a sandbag that weighs 44 pounds and five that is unloaded. So then we go to a 20 meter rush. That's an 80 meter rush that they're gonna go down into a prone position every 10 meters and come back up. And they have 51 seconds or less to do that in. And then finally, they're gonna be doing a sandbag drag with four sandbags, but here we're gonna be using five on the ground because of the drag coefficient on the floor. And they're gonna be carrying also one of a 20, 20 kilo bag, 20 meters without pausing or stopping. Well, it sounds super intense. Right now, Drew and I are going to hit the course and work up a sweat. Go! Get up, good touch. Good job, okay? Power it up, excellent. That's 12, keep going, good job. 13. Good, we're on the second part, let's go! Come on, guys, good job. Go! So after that workout, I'm not sure if Britt and I are quite cut out to be a member of the forces, but if we want to participate in the Royal Canadian Air Force run, we're not going to be having to work that hard. Uh, we have MWO Jim White. Let's talk a little bit about what we can expect if we participate in the big uh, run. Well, on the uh, race day, we'll have the 5K family run, the 10K run, and the half marathon. And in conjunction with the half, we also have a relay uh, with the, uh, the half, so uh, teams can take part in that also. And what's really neat is this is the public's chance to actually get on the base. So as I understand, the, the race actually goes through part of the flight line? Yes, that's true. Uh, this year and in years past, we've all uh, been able to run on the flight line past the aircraft that are parked on the ramp, and uh, you'll be able to... Uh, you know, uh, enjoy the view from uh, that side of the uh, defense line this year. And a great day of uh, family fun happening in the Racers Village. And we're doing this for a very important cause. Tell us a little bit more about that. We have Major Heather Collins. So the money that we raise, how is that going to help you guys out? The, the money that's raised goes to two causes. One, the first one is the Soldier Arm Program. So it's a fund for ill and injured servicemen and women to help them regain an active and healthy lifestyle. So that fund provides funds for things like athletic prosthetics, uh, so they can continue a running career, sledge hockey equipment, um, connecting with organizations to help them learn how to have a new and ha active lifestyle. And then the second fund, it goes to the Military Families Fund. So that's an emergency fund that helps support military families, usually in times of crisis, um, and usually for things that are related to military military service. So in the military we're away from family and friends who might be able to otherwise help us. So it's an emergency fund that commanding officers can use to help their, their men and women and families in times of crisis. Some pretty cool stuff here inside of the hangars at 17 Wing and your chance to check this out yourself is May 26 if you sign up for the RCAF run. That's right, all the information to get registered for the run is on breakfasttelevision.ca so be sure to head there and get yourself registered. Uh, are you ready for uh, one last workout of the day? It's just a short walk. What? Yeah, just, just a walk to the car. We're, we're all done here. Uh. <laughs> See you later. You look like you're done. You I look like you were just done. 
What was the hardest? You had uh, you had four things: the the lift, the shuttle, the drag, and the rush. What, what well, was the hardest? I'll tell you this: nothing was easy, but the lift was really hard because you had to do so many of them. In the beginning, you get all hyped up, but it's it's a heavy weight you have to lift, and you have to reach to a certain point. You got to tap it on the wall, so it's all about form too. And they were really really particular about that, so they definitely yeah. didn't cut us any slack. Well, great insight into what people actually go through the yeah. training, and I'm sure they were actually being a little nicer on you guys than yeah, they I do don't think so. because there's time there's time limits on everything. Yeah. Were they keeping you guys to time? Well, they were, and the funny thing is, is we were to our cameraman. We were like, "Hey, just shoot what you need. Honestly, just shoot what you need." And he did it the whole way through. At the end, I wasn't speaking to him on the car ride home because I was like, <laughs> "I told you, Chris." It was really intense, but uh, and a lot of them are doing it more than once because it's a new, um, it's a new fitness test that they're doing now. Oh. They've changed it from the past couple years, right. so a lot of them are trying this out, kind of like building up that uh, that endurance and stuff. And it is very difficult. So. I didn't hear as many sir, yes sirs as yeah. I thought. Yeah, no, no, no. They think they were being a little too nice to you guys. Uh, <laughs> if you want to get in on the run though, at 17 Wing, you got to get in registered for the 20th because the big run comes up on the 26th. Mm -hmm. All the details are already on breakfasttelevision.ca. Go to take a break. Plenty still to come today on BT. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, Better. yes, sir. Uh -huh.